Jeremiah chapter 35. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim. Now this shows you that Jeremiah is not written in timely order. There are some chapters that are out of order. Now it's interesting for this chapter that we run between the dates of 609 to 598 B.C. The son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Go into the house of the Rechabites. Now the Rechabites are from Kenites. K-E-N-I-T-E-S. And they accompanied the children of Israel <clears throat> into the land and dwelt among them. Moses married a Kenite wife, or Jael. We're looking at, this is the family of Moses' father-in-law. Moses' father-in-law did not follow Moses into the promised land. But his family did. And I believe it was King Saul who asked the Kenites to move out of a region area because he was going to go in and kill these people. And he told the Kenites, All right, move out. I don't want to do you no harm. So the Kenites have had a special relation between the children of Israel. And so that's the Rechabites. And speak unto them. Bring them into the house of the Lord. You know, that's the only reference where God says, bring someone to the house of the Lord and it's not church. That's the temple. Now watch this. You know, give me a Bible verse for, for bring, them, bring them to church. Bring them to church. All right, God said, bring them to the house of the Lord. Into one of the chambers. So they're not going into the temple. They're going to the one of many chambers. And give them wine to drink. All right, so invite them to church Sunday morning and give them wine to drink. Well, I wouldn't do that. Then stop saying the house of the Lord. You got chambers outside your your church building? Many churches I've been in don't have chambers. Not the kind of chambers we're talking about here. The chambers of the temple is one for you know for each. Supplies, wheat, uh, barley, and offices. <clears throat> then I took Jasmaniah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habzaniah, and his brethren, and all his sons, and the house of the Rechabites. And I brought them into the house of the Lord, the temple. These are Gentiles. They're not Jewish people. Into the chamber of the son of Hannah. So this was a, a chamber given to Hannah, the son of Ignaniah, the man of God, which was by the chamber of the princes. So there were all kinds of chambers. There were chambers for supplies. There were cha chambers for people and, you know, the... That's what the church would say today. You know, we've got the, the pastor's chambers. We've got the fellowship chambers. We've got the youth group chambers and blah, 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 blah. But this is on the other side of Calvary. This is not on this side of Calvary. And I heard one man say, oh, you know, they were Christians back then. Yeah, that's what the scriptures. Which was above the chamber of Messiah, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. Uh, look at the Lord just going into great detail. And about the birth of Jesus, we're, we're given one book of the entire Bible. And I set before the sons of the house of Rechabites pots full of wine and cups, and said unto them, Drink ye wine. You want a Bible verse for having the house of your God to drink wine? Why don't you throw in there that Jesus made the water into wine too? See the pots? I mean, I could pervert the Bible if I wanted to. 
but I'm not going to. Not like some people I know. But they said, we will drink no wine. For Jonadab, the son of Rekah, our father, commanded. So we're looking at Jonadab, who's the son of Rekah. Jonadab sent for his family. Our father commanded, ye shall drink no wine. Now Jonadab's going to be an illustration of God through Jeremiah to the children of Judah. Neither ye nor your sons forever. Now remember, this chapter is not in sync. It's out of order. Neither shall ye build house. So, Jonadab has called his family to be nomads. Nomadic. And we'll see in a moment. They're going to dwell in tents. Nor sowed seed. Nor plant vineyard. Nor have any. So they're nomadic tribes. And they go about making a living, buying and selling and trading. And not planning. Not building. But all your days you shall dwell in tents. That ye may live many days in the land. Where ye, are, where ye be strangers. So you're not going to settle. You're not going to inherit. You're not going to plant a ground. You're nomadic people. I set this forth day now, and you're not going to drink wine. Now, this has nothing to do, as far as I know, and I could be wrong, but as far as the worship of God. Jonadab has set forth for his children a command that he thought was right. He thought it would be proper for his children. It doesn't say why, but thus... Have we obeyed the voice of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, in all that he charged us? To drink no wine in all our days. We, our wives, our sons, nor our daughters. Well, that's remarkable. Here's a family listening to their father, and it looks like the father may have died. Or he's not with the group. And no one has slipped a drink. No one has disobeyed a tad bit. What our Father said to us to do, we've done it. Nor to build houses for us to dwell in. You imagine your typical Baptist. They build, they settle, they plant themselves in a place that's not our home. This world is not our home. You know, Paul didn't have a permanent dwelling place. He had a rented house at the end of the book of Romans. Neither have we vineyard, nor field, nor sea. Man, talking about living by faith. But we had dwelt in tents and have obeyed and done according to all that Jonah, our father, commanded us. Now it came to pass when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came into the land that we said, Come, let us go to Jerusalem for the fear of the army of the child. Not the fear of God. The fear of the army. And the fear of the army of the Syrians. So we dwell in Jerusalem. So they're only in Jerusalem because Babylon did. That was the wrong place to go because Jerusalem's going to be conquered. But they didn't know. So they're passing through Jerusalem. God says, Jeremiah, I want to use these people. And you ought to know these people because you're, they are your Gentile family. You know, they lifted up Moses in the time of, of Jesus. Well, here's Moses' father-in-law children. So here comes the object lesson. Then came the word of the Lord to Jeremiah saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Notice that expression. The God of Israel, that expression. Go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. 
Will ye not receive instruction and hearken to my word, God the Father, saith the Lord? Can you see what the object lesson here? If these Gentiles will listen to their father, why on earth have you not listened to me, your father? You know, Jesus raised a concern in his hometown that they were going to kill Jesus. Jesus said, wasn't there a, a lot of widows? And yet the Gentile widow that God sent to Elijah? Wasn't there a lot of men who had leprosy, but there was one man who had leprosy, the Gentile that God? And God through Jeremiah is like, I'm using the Gentiles again. And you realize today us Gentiles are getting saved through the Messiah of Israel as a stumbling block to Israel. Our salvation is God to say to Israel, well, they did it. Why haven't you? They believe in the Messiah. Why don't you? You've had a lifetime of miracles and signs and wonders in the law and the scriptures. Those dead dogs had Ish, they had uh, Ishtar, they had Tammuz, they were killing their baby, they worshipped the, the sun, the moon, and the star. They had no knowledge of me. And yet I was preached to them. They, I was shown to them, and they believed. Except for the Baptists who bring those gods back in their church house. Do you realize it is an ins insult? And I support a missionary, and I'm not bragging, but I, I support a missionary that go in to Israel with tracts and Bibles. You realize it, now it is Jews that deal with the Jewish. But you realize it's an insult for a Gentile to tell a Jewish person, male or female, about their Messiah is the way, the truth, and the life. God keeps using the Gentiles. God used the Gentiles in a kind of weird way with Jonah to show, hey, they repented, they got right, I'm going to show them mercy, grace, and love. Jonah's like, will you just wipe out the whole city? God told a Jew, he says, listen, I want you to go and tell those people about me. I want you to preach to them, and don't you dare call them unclean. And he's doing it again with the children of Rechab. The words of Jonadab, the son of Rechab, and he was, and he commanded his sons. Did not command? Did not God command his sons, his children, his daughters, Israel? They've been doing it through Jeremiah. All right, not to drink wine. The Jews were allowed to drink wine. The Jews were given the law are performed. For unto this day they drink none. That's God saying it. But have obeyed their father's commandment. Okay, Judah, what about you obeying my commandment? Not with second I, God, has spoken unto you, Judah, Israel, rising early and speaking. I don't know why he keeps saying rising early. That rising early is the is the prophets. I would assume in my understanding, which I could be wrong, early is before the judgment fell. God warned them before the judgment came, and speaking. But ye hearken not unto me. I have sent also unto you all my servants and prophets, rising up early and sending them. Saying, return or repent, ye now every man from his evil way, amend your doings. That's work. It's not our salvation. Go not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land, not go to heaven, which I have given you and your fathers. 
But ye have not inclined your ear nor hearken unto me. But th these Gentiles over here don't drink no wine, don't plant no no vineyards, don't have a house. And what their father told them, they obey every single their wives, their sons, and their daughters. So the Rechabites are a kick in the butt to Judah. Or 16. You know, and I've had this happen to me, I think a couple times. I, I, I got one strong inclination. Uh, as a Christian, born again Christian, you get an unsaved person that rebukes you correctly. Man, that's a kick in the butt. I had an unsaved man that I was dealing with rebuke me correctly when I was doing wrong. That's a kick in the butt. Who are a nerve? Are you telling... Eh, you're right. Because the sons of Jodadad, the son of Rechab, have performed the commandment of their father, and which he commanded them. But this people have not hearkened unto me, Judah and Israel. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel. I'm your God, he's, your, he's their father. Behold, I will bring upon Ju Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them. I want to Joe dad in his family. Uh, maybe we shouldn't come here. Because I have spoken unto them. And they have not heard. They haven't even heard it. They won't listen. I have called unto them, but they have not answered. Jeremiah said unto the house of Rechabites, Thus saith the Lord God, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Because ye have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab your father and kept all his Do you see the works? <laughs> they did something their father told them to do and they're going to get quote unquote saved. And I'll show you. And done according to all that he has commanded you. Now, don't today say, well, my father said I should never drink. Okay, I'm going to heaven. No, you're not. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Jonadab, the son of Rechab, shall not want a man to stand before me forever. Now, that shall not want a man to stand. That same word goes to David in the throne of Jesus Christ, of David's throne. That word there says that King David will not want anybody to sit on the throne. It will be Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ will sit on the throne forever. Now God just told him the same words of, of David. God just told, uh, uh, I forgot what his name was. The sons of Jonadab. Forever you're going to have people and, and children that are going to be before me. You're going to see the sons of Rechab in the millennium before Jesus Christ. You're going to see the sons of Rechab in New Jerusalem and maybe the new earth, the new heavens. Because they won't get the new earth, that's Israel. You will find children of Jonadab saved. And then you'll find them as the nations who will probably help the Jews Go into the millennium and then go into what I believe the Gentiles are going to get, the new heavens. Now let's look at a couple of things here. Dr. Wolf, in 1839, found in Arabia, near Mecca, a tribe claiming to be descendants of Je Jehoiada. And recently, Bedonian tribe has been found near the Dead Sea, who also profess to be descendants of the Canaanite chief. They're there. Um, there's one. This one says they're found throughout Central Arabia. That's today. 
Here's one I'm looking for. This one, oh, this is one. They, these are ones that call the, their names. Wolf found a tribe of Benai Calibria near Sina who called themselves the son of Jonadab and said they numbered 60,000. They've been journalized in II 334 335. I don't care what the Septuagint says. Uh, let's see, there's another place. Am I going to find it? Probably not. Well, there was a place that they, they actually gave a number. Oh, here it is. Okay, when send up, so this is the same time, Dr. Wolf, they claimed the number 60,000. And this, all right, I lost the date of this one. It was a date given somewhere, if you remember. But the point is, the Rechabites are still around today, according to what God said. And this was written, Jeremiah during the reign of 609 to 598 BC in the early 1800s guess who they found in Arabia and they're found and I've heard that recent uh, people who are missionaries in here they're still there they're not a big family clan but they're still there I believe you're gonna see some of this family in New Jerusalem because God's word is right. God's word is true. And they can trace their family all the way back to Moses' father-in-law. That one of the wives of Moses, the wife of Moses was related to one of these men. So it's remarkable. 